All right, 100% argon, flow rate about 30 CFH. Uh, no helium mixture needed on this job. And then uh, here's the machine. We're welding in AC mode. Uh, frequency 175 hertz. Balance was set at 48. We started out at 55, but we didn't have enough cleaning. It was a really dirty casting. Uh, max amps is 200. I'm varying with the foot pedal how much ever I need to make this work. So here we go. All right, when we started, it was already broken off shipping. Looking down at this, this was all twisted and tweaked like really bad. So we put this in here. You see the heat marks right here in the middle from the propane torch. Twisted it straight with a with a little crescent wrench and now it's nice and straight. Ground the edges here on the back side so that we can get a good weld on there. Chamfered the inside. And this is where it's gonna sit. I'll clamp this in place, get a tack weld on the inside. And then I'm gonna weld the outside all the way around leak tight. So here I'm lining up the part. I'm doing this by eye. I use a piece of painter's tape uh, instead of a real clamp. There's nothing really to clamp it to. And once it's about perfect, I make one little tack weld on the inside there so I can pivot and tweak it off of that tack weld later on uh, as I need it and it worked out pretty good. So cleanliness is a key component. Have everything ground nice here. I'm eyeballing it to make sure that everything is still plain and um, in line. And then once I verify that it's still sitting in the spot it's sitting, I'm welding a second spot to stop it from twisting and rolling. So here I found out that this casting is very porous, a lot of black stuff coming out and it's really hard to weld so it's still working out pretty good. I'm, I'm getting to the point luckily because the cleaning action is up so high, the balance is at 48 and I'm getting it to work alright. <laughs>
cleaning everything up seems to have really paid off. The welds turned out pretty nice. Not too much to clean, not too little to clean. Here we're hitting it with a 40 grit flapper wheel and then we're gonna switch to the other grinder there with a 120 flapper and blending it all in real nice. Then um, checking it all uh, by. Then with a little straight edge later on. And um, it turned out pretty sweet. 